to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing this no makeup makeup look I was so excited to film this today I know it's gonna be all over the place but bear with me I wanted to get a video up tomorrow and I felt really inspired laying out today and I was like you know what I'm getting some color and I just want to do like a no makeup makeup look I guess <laughs> but I just want to have some color in my face and I just want to look really glowy because I just want summer to be here like right now so without further ado if you guys want to see how I got this no makeup makeup look and let's just jump right into it okay let's skip the fact that I look like a piece of crap so let's just get started I'm gonna go in with this NYX born to glow liquid illuminator in the color sunbeam and I'm just gonna mix it in with my Maybelline dream pure BB cream just to kind of give it more of a glowy look, more natural skin like. So I have it on my beauty blender, but I'm gonna go in and just kinda like mix it together with my finger on the beauty blender. And then with that extra product, I'm just gonna kinda rub it into my face. So I just kinda want this look to look really dewy. I don't really wanna look like I'm wearing makeup, but at the same time, I want to look like I'm wearing makeup. And I'm just using a damp beauty sponge. So I really like this BB cream. I used it a lot during the summer. And I felt like I needed to do a no makeup makeup video because the weather has been so good today. And I was like, you know what? I just really miss summertime and not having to really wear any makeup. I love. Wearing makeup in the summer is fun, but I like going without it a lot more. Or I like doing something like this. So the reason why I mix those together, like I said, is because the highlighter, the illuminator, kind of makes my face look a little bit more like dewy and fresh rather than matte and set. Okay, so once I've got my face all blended, I'm sorry, I blended forever. I'm just going to go in and conceal my under eyes. Since this is a no makeup makeup video, I'm not going to go ham on the concealer. I'm just going to do what it needs to do. I'm not going to be doing any crazy highlighting, but whatever it does highlight, it'll be nice. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my eyes while my foundation kind of starts to dry off a little bit. I'm not gonna do my eyebrows quite yet. I'm gonna start start with my eyes. I'm gonna go into this eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. It's the 88 matte. Um, yeah, it's just like the 88 colors. So it's got a bunch of shadows in this that you can just use that are, there's neutrals, there's crazy colors, and it, but I'm gonna go in with like a neutral color I think I'm gonna go in with these two colors right here and just go ahead and mix them. They don't have a name on them. So I'm just gonna go in and mix them. I'm just gonna use one brush because I'm trying to make this super simple, easy. You know, I don't wanna make this an eyeshadow look that I have to spend a ton of time on. So I'm just gonna go in and buff this into my crease. I'm using a angled fluffy brush. I'm just working this into my crease. I'm not really gonna worry about anything else this is going to be the only color that I'm using so I think I am good on that that looks pretty natural actually you know what I'm gonna go in just with like one of these lighter lighter shades in this little top area and I'm just gonna go and go underneath my brow bone just to kind of give it a little bit of shine And I'm gonna add that to the middle part of my eye, just a tiny bit. Wow, oh, this is like kind of nice. I have I miss summertime. I just love wearing like no makeup or a little bit of makeup. So once my face is like pretty much set, I'm just gonna go in with this. I don't know if you can see this Ulta Mineral Setting Powder. It's in the color. I think it's like a translucent color. I really like this um, setting powder because it doesn't really add any like additional color to my face. It's just a really light, loose powder. 
and it feels really light on the face. And you don't want to feel like you're wearing a loose powder. It feels this is a good powder to go with. So I'm just going to go and buff in this so I don't look too wet, if you will. I'm just going to go in mainly through my T-zone. And I don't want to go too ham and look like I'm wearing too much. I just want to make sure that I don't look wet. I like looking dewy, but I don't like looking wet. So once I feel like I am set, I am gonna go in and bronze up my face because I want to look like I've got a little bit of color and warmth in my face. So I'm just gonna go in with my Hoola bronzer and I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush. I know that this is the brush that it goes with, but I like using my Real Techniques um, brush. I'm just gonna go in and warm up my entire face. I'm trying not to do too much. I'm trying to use like a really light hand. Cause like I've said at the beginning and the whole video, you don't want to go too harsh. It's a no makeup makeup look. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose because I, I don't know. I'm not going to contour my nose, but I think that it looks kind of like you were in the sun and you kind of got a little bit of, not a burn, but some color, if that makes sense. I feel like it's so cute when people have been laying out like all day long and they you can just tell that they're like all sun-kissed and their nose is kind of red and they just look sun-kissed. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some blush. This is the Baked Blush by Lara Geller. It's the color Tropic Hues, I believe, yes. It's just like a really pretty pinky, peachy, um, shimmery blush. I like this a lot. I think I got it in my Ipsy. Bit ago. So I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my cheeks. I hate blush, but I wear it sometimes. Sometimes I wear blush on rare occasions. I just have like such red skin that when I wear it, I just feel like I look like a freaking tomato. But I love this blush when I have bronzed up and it just kind of makes me look even more shiny. I don't know if that makes sense, but I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to go in and bronze, I mean, highlight my face. I'm gonna just use the second tone right there. I'm just go in and highlight. And it's never too much. I always kind of do it on my forehead just a little bit and by my brow nose. I'm not going to go in and be all fancy with anything. I just am wanting to look like I don't have very much and I just glow from within. And actually, you can't really see on camera. I'm going to go in right here and do my collarbones and just right here so it kind of accentuates. Accentuates. I screwed that up. Okay, so I'm all glowed up. Now I'm gonna go in with this little eyeliner. It's by Mr. Right, and it's a really pretty purpley shade that I like to use when I'm not really wearing any makeup. I just do my water, my upper waterline, and I don't like to be all dark and harsh and use black, so I just kinda go in with this plum shade that I feel like it kinda pops my eyes out a little bit more. I'm just gonna go in with this cute little eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes just a little bit. So I'm not gonna go in with any falsies. I just like to do this because it makes my eyelashes a little bit more volume. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara and I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Volume Plus Length Magnified in the color black. And I'm not gonna add very much. I love mascara, but when I am trying to do like a no makeup makeup look, I just do one coat and I try and make it look like I'm hardly even wearing mascara. This is just what I do when I'm trying to do like a no makeup makeup look. 
You guys don't have to do it. I just wanted to film this because I was so inspired by laying out today. I was like, I need to just film a video. And you know what? I'm not gonna add any mascara to my bottom lashes because I usually don't. Kind of go in and fill in my eyebrows. I don't do very much when I am just doing like a no makeup makeup look. So I just kind of comb through them with my spoolie and I just fill in the little bald spots. I don't go in and sharpen anything up. I just do this so quick, like honestly, so quick. My lips are pretty dry, but I'm gonna attempt to put this lipstick on that I really like. It's by Maybelline and it's the color Born With It. It's just like a pretty soft pink color. It's just like really natural. It's not nude, but it's kind of in the nude line. It's more of like a pinky tone. And I just, oh, I really like that color. I haven't worn it since last summer. And I'm just gonna go in with this Essence XXL Long Lasting Lip Gloss because I always try and hydrate my lips or at least try and just give them a little bit of shine. Especially when I don't go all out on my makeup. So my lips are all done and last but not least I'm gonna go in with this um, dewy finishing spray by NYX and just spray my entire face until it's soaked so I just feel really drenched. Whew. It feels so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this no makeup makeup look. I think it turned out really good. This is normally what I do during the summer or when I'm just kind of having a lazy day. I just want to look kind of put together a little bit for like Snapchat or FaceTime and I just want to look like I kind of am a little bit put together I guess and kind of have like a glow and I want to feel like my face is natural and dewy and whatnot. But this is usually what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.